Rod Flowers has been the it girl in the craft world. They are great decorations for any craft projects. Here you will find three styles of flowers and 12 designs of leaves. The download link is in the description. They are SVG files for QuickCut and Studio 3 file for Cameo. Upload the road flower SVG file to design space. Here are the three road flowers. I use color code in this video. The cutouts later will match the flower colors here. The default size is 6 inches wide. We could see the size on the top here. To change size, select the style you would like. Type in the size here to change it. Here I will make the default 6 inches first. Slowly remove the paper around the flowers. Use a spatula to peel off the flower cutouts. Here are all the cutouts. To roll a flower, there are different tools you could use. Here I use a chopstick from a takeaway shop. Start with outside, roll the flower with the chopstick. After a few rolls, remove the chopstick and use index finger and thumb to hold the top and the bottom of the flower. Hold the flower firmly and keep rolling. Squeeze the flower in between so it doesn't get too boxy. Roll to the end slowly. Carefully and firmly hold the flower together. We will use hot glue gun at the bottom and close with the circle here. Carefully close the bottom. Don't burn yourself. Hold it till the glue is set. The flower looks a bit stiff at the moment. Use the chopstick, a pen or fingers to roll and open the flowers. To the center, it might get tricky to manipulate the petals. I wouldn't worry about it as the flower looks pretty good already. See how different the flower is? After rolling the petals, the flower looks more realistic. We could also use a pen to curl the paper before rolling. I'm using tweezers to hold the outer end of the flower. Rolling from here, Remove the tweezers and continue using fingers to hold and roll. Use glue gun to seal the back. I have found glue gun the best for the rolled flowers. If you prefer other glue, choose one that is strong and dry quickly. The flower looks a bit boxy and stiff. Play around the petals and make it whatever you feel the flowers should be. Just like real flowers, there is no rules for how they should look. Here is the second style of the road flowers. This design has more details in the petals and gives it a bit more lush look. The last design is more traditional flower style. When rolling, you will find the petals are not as open as the other two styles. When finished rolling, it looks less boxy than the other two. Use a pen or fingers to adjust the petals. This one is not as easy to open up as the other two. Probably just the outer few layers. Here is a number 3 beauty. Here are the finished 3 flowers. They all have their own beauty. Once you get a hand of it, it is very easy to get addicted to making more. I use 65 pounds lightweight cardstock here. I also tried copy paper because I was hoping they would be softer, therefore easier to roll. It doesn't matter what setting I used, they all end up like this. I would suggest stick to lightweight solar cardstock. Now I will show you the three flowers in different sizes. We have made the default 6 inches. We will change the width to 4 inches and 8 inches. Here are the 4 inches cutouts. With smaller size, Quicker is still able to cut all the details. It is impressive how precise Quicker is. 
Because the size is smaller, I use a craft stick for a cake topper to roll for the 4 inches flowers. Hold the flower firmly when rolling, hot glue the back. Here are the 4 inches flowers. The finished size is between 1 and 1 quarter to 1 and a half inches. Now here is the 8 inches white flower. Because it is bigger, use two fingers to hold the top when rolling. The finished size is about 2 and a half inches. Here we can see from left to right are 4 inches, default 6 inches and 8 inches. Style 1 here, the finish size is just a guide here. It depends on how you manipulate the flowers and how open or how close you would like they be. The second style is probably the one that needs a bit of practice to, to get a hand over. I found when rolling this style, it's a bit more square-ish than the other two. But again, the details in the petals give it a bit more lush look. This style would be the first one I suggest to start with. It is easier to roll and requires less manipulation to get that natural look. These flowers are easily the best decoration for any craft projects. The smaller ones are good for car makings and scrapbookings. The big flowers are great for 3D letters or wall art. I will make more videos with these flowers later on. The possibility is endless. There are also 12 leaf designs come with. You could find the files in the same folder. Here are all the leaves cut out. You could mix and match to find the ones that suit your purchase. There is no rules when it comes to arrangement. Just play around and find the ones you prefer. I'm pretty happy with these flower designs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.